We are here today in Nosley Hall to launch our Owl and the Pussycat Trail. Next year, Nosley is going to be the Liverpool City Region's Borough of Culture and we're looking for artists who are going to come along and decorate our Owl and Pussycat using everything about Nosley, its people, its architecture, its stories. Why here at Knowsley? Well, one of my forebears, the 13th Earl of Derby, was a great natural historian and he won, had a wonderful menagerie here and he was president of the Regent's Park Zoo in London. And he went there and found this young man painting the animals so beautifully. He was so impressed by it, he said, would you come up and paint my animals at Knowsley? So that is how Edward Lear came to come and live in Knowsley Hall for the best part of seven years. And all of these beautiful watercolours and nonsense poems were written here at Knowsley Hall between 1831 and 1837. So these are Edward Lear's original watercolours. One of the very first that he produced shows a rather lifelike owl, which may in fact be a pet owl, we don't know for sure, um, a sketch from 1831. And then six years later, after painting the animals here at Knowsley, he's produced this magnificent large watercolour of a bespectacled owl. But it was noticed that he wasn't around a lot at mealtimes and sort of wondering where he'd got to and discovered that he's spending an awful lot of time in the nursery entertaining the grandchildren and other young people with all of his nonsense rhymes. So he wrote the poems here at Knowsley and here we have the most famous of his poems, The Owl and the Pussycat. Once our wonderful owls and pussycats are decorated, you'll be able to go out and about in Nosley and follow the trail. They're gonna look absolutely amazing and just go and enjoy them. I'm hoping that people will look at the artwork and they'll start to have conversations about heritage and culture and celebrating what Nosley means to the wider Liverpool city region. As from today, you can go online and find out all the information of how to get in touch. We're looking for local artists, local people with all their ideas to do with Nosley to come and decorate these fantastic sculptures.